Mike Winters. And good morning. It is 20 minutes after 9 o'clock and joining us in studio this morning uh, from the Liberty here. Uh, talking about big shows coming up this weekend. Uh, Jet and Jess joining us this morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hi, how good morning. Y'all how's, uh, how's life treating you? Now, are you guys, because you guys are uh, part of the, 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 the management promotion side of things, do you guys... Are you guys on the road as much as the artists and stuff? Or, or, or I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> we bounce around a little bit, man. You never know. You never know, man. You never I mean, know. Because I'm like curious, like, because like, I, I mean, obviously you're working with the with Paul Rodriguez here in the tour now. Yes. So are you guys like the advanced team where you go ahead of him to get set up? And then, uh, as long just, as they don't, you know, run out of gas or or uh, you know need. A, change tires we can usually we can usually <laughs> stay around town okay but. got you cool i didn't know if it's kind of like the advanced team and you get the headphones and the like the secret service thing and like all that or what i don't know <laughs> well i don't think we're that adventurous all right cool. well, just say you do just to make oh, it sound okay. cool well, never mind. <laughs> oh yeah we got all that week they give us guns too no, i'm just kidding <laughs> but um for folks who have not heard i don't know how you haven't but in case you haven't heard uh comedian and actor paul rodriguez has come into the liberty this uh, for two shows, Friday night and Saturday night. Uh, the doors open at 6. The actual show will start at 8. Um, I, 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 I'll just say go to holdmyticket.com to get because there's a bunch of slashes and numbers and I got, most people aren't going to remember yeah. that. If you go to the Liberty's Facebook page, um, there's a, the event page, there's a link direct if you don't remember all that and click that. That'll take you right to where you can get tickets and everything like that. Um, but holdmyticket.com is the, if you just type in, uh, and then I'm sure you can do a search Roswell and Paul Yeah, Rodriguez you can search all. by uh, location, by event, like the venue. You'll, you can find it a couple of different ways. But okay, yeah, very good. The Liberty's complete listings are through Hold My Ticket. Very good. But um, if it, like I said, if you're... If you're kind of having trouble navigating all that, just go to Liberty's Facebook page. Go to you'll see the event page there, and you click the direct link. It'll take you right there. Order your tickets, and you're good to go. So, but um, I you know when they said Paul Rodriguez is coming, I was because I'm I'm uh well I'm 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 48. I'm pushing 50. So I I, I was just talking with Sean. I was like I kind of grew up in the career of Paul Rodriguez. Like like I was talking, and I, I happened to look at his IMDb, and I and it just was like a who's who of stuff like i forgot he was in that i remember like i, I the first thing that popped yeah, up yeah he's been in a ton of stuff. I, pretty prolific career yeah. yeah the first thing that popped up it was like oh i forgot he was in that and this is a bit obscure unless you're my dc cab do you i don't know if it do y'all yeah. remember that movie? yeah yeah from like 1983 or 84 it, it starred michael keaton and i think this was before mr mom and before he was kind of famous um, Mr. T was in it before he was Mr. T. That's right. And I Paul Rodriguez. They were all cabbies in D.C. <laughs> and it was a comedy. That's sweet. And the hilarity ensued. It. And I remember, because I was a kid at that age when that movie was out, that was one of my jam go-tos. You know, like when cable or HBO, it was like the beginning of those in, in our TV world. And I remember in, in HBO, we show a lot of movies, the same one. And D.C. Cab was one of those ones. So I saw it a thousand times. But... But then I forget, you go on IMDb and he, literally, if there was a TV show, particularly a comedy, but not necessarily, in the 80s or 90s, odds are pretty good. Paul Rodriguez yeah, appeared on that it. show. I mean, everything from Touched by an Angel to Golden Girls to to movies. And I mean, I mean, we think Rat Race and the Latin Kings of Comedy. Those are the big things the big he's things, known yeah. for. But I kind of know Paul Rodriguez from everything else. The the premier character actor comedian. That's kind of yeah. That's how I knew him too. Yeah, and so uh, and he's really funny. Obviously, I mean yeah. And this big Sopapia tour is kind of it's getting great reviews and it's pretty awesome. Good so deal. We're stoked to have it. So I'm kind of curious. Is what's Paul? Is is Paul strictly focused on on comedy in the last few years? Because I've I haven't seen him in a movie or anything recently. But has he kind of turned his attention to more doing stand up now and that that side of things? I believe so. That's okay. what, I mean that's what it looks like. We're probably yeah. just googling the same information okay. as you. Yeah. I until kinda... we get to meet him and pick his brain. <laughs> okay. I guess you guys don't get to meet him. Oh, dang. <laughs> you can do it. But um, it, it's gonna be a fun. I I. I kind of look at this as like a, a, a throwback to just all these great memories for me because he was in so many things that I grew up watching as a child or, or part of my life and everything. And so, so folks, I, I, I guarantee, come out. Get, it's going to be a great show. Liberty's a great venue if you've never been to Liberty. Uh, great food, great drinks, great atmosphere. It's just a fun place to sit back, kick back, and enjoy the show. Um, yeah, you're, you're getting more than just Paul Rodriguez. Cody uh, D- Dove, who's from Albuquerque area, yes. he's going to be coming down. He's going to open up and, and do a great set. And then 
Of course, Paul will take over there, too. Oh, sweet. We got some giveaways. All right. I like that. So we'll do that here. Be listening. I'm, I'm not going to tell you when. I'm going to put uh, old, old uh, Roy to work here in a minute. But anyway. <laughs> 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 so um, so uh, let me. So so you guys, uh, what, um, like, for the company you work for, do you guys do just strictly, like, uh, music acts, or is it all comedians, or what's, like, what, well, where, where's your business so, kind of line uh, up with? We're we're like trying to d- diversify. We cover. We've been known for like a lot of red dirt country. Okay. Uh, but we're bringing in more comedy acts. We're trying to you know we're broadening our scope a little bit. Okay. We're bringing bringing in Chingy in November. Oh nice. And we have Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, which is okay. like an emo band. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're coming in October. So uh, we're. Hoping to be like Roswell's or the region's premier entertainment venue. Well, and really, you know, as as a performer myself, which is how I got into this whole okay. thing, um, you know, this really, Liberty really is Southern New Mexico's premier concert hall and venue. Sure. And, uh, you know, Josh has done a great job, um, you know, raising up the, the entertainment mm-hmm. bar for the region. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he always makes sure that shows are class. You know, whether you've heard of the names or not, you know, the shows are going to be good. You've heard is, of them or about is, to hear about them. Really. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, um, you know, I've, I've been having a lot of fun working with Josh. Um, I'm primarily focused on buying talent and uh, running show production okay. uh, for him. And, uh, yeah, we have a whole lot planned out for the next year. Good deal. Um, and really, really packing the weekends with some solid acts of, awesome. of entertainment. And like Jess was saying, all kinds of diverse stuff. We're going to be rolling through the uh, through the uh, Texas country scene again, okay. as always. And this weekend, uh, tomorrow night, uh, we've got Roger Krieger, uh, which is going to be super sweet. So we're going to be bringing in those, those Texas staples yeah. through the region, always. Um, but uh, we're also going to be uh, booking a lot of hip hop shows coming up, like Jess was saying. So big variety, so big variety. Yes. Coming not in country, rock and no roll. Big, no biggie. We got other stuff. Yeah, for us, yeah. So. We'll have something for you, no matter your tastes. Nice. Um, of course, um, if you want to learn more about becoming a member at the Liberty and and getting access to all these shows and the other specials and events they have there. Well, I'd like to like to mention that that you don't actually have to be a member to attend the shows. Yeah, to attend the shows, but to get all the other stuff. Yeah, and perks, all, all the other stuff yeah. and perks you do. If you go to the Liberty. Inc.com, I believe, is the, the website off the top of my head here, yes. I believe. Um, you can learn more about membership and all that stuff. But if you go to Hold My Ticket, uh, for you can get tickets to, to Paul Rodriguez and any of these other shows we're talking about, too. So, Correct. Exactly. But I'm just, as a carrot, maybe you go out Saturday or Friday night and have dinner, enjoy the show and everything. Like, Man, I'd like to do more stuff here. Learn yeah. about becoming a member. It's yeah, very, yeah. It's very it's, easy. It, you know, concerts are a really good way to introduce, you know, uh, yeah. to become in, introduced to the club. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just come on down, enjoy your evening, and you know, come back. Yeah, <laughs> That's exactly. what we want. We it, want to make people happy enough to come back. It's it's a place to come, unwind, meet with friends, have a have a have a meal, have a beverage, kick back, enjoy great entertainment. It's kind of even if you're like, okay, like you said, I'm not into red dirt, or maybe I'm not into stand up, or whatever it is. But that's just it. It's a it's it's just a cool vibe, even if it, the band isn't your cup of tea per se. It's still just a cool place to hang out, vibe, relax, unwind, and meet people. So, and then who knows? Maybe solid, you like them. You solid know? bartenders too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of one of the Liberty staff right now is at the New Mexico finalist for mixology, right in Las Cruces this oh, nice. weekend, I believe. Um, oh, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Jay okay. is. Yeah. yeah. So oh, nice. really solid bartenders. Yeah. Uh, you know that. And the are food's always great too. They really always, I mean, whether you go to, to the winery here or to the Liberty, they they put out great food. It's, For sure, is what they do. So so uh, get some entertainment to match that food and beverage here too. So, but I, I don't know. I'm excited. Paul Rodriguez is. That's a. I think of uh, uh, odds are, and here's the thing with Paul. I bet you know at least ten things he's done. Didn't realize that that he was in it and stuff too. And and uh, I remember. Like and, and and if you want if you want to get an idea of a stand up, go go YouTube like the Latin Kings of Comedy and listen to some of that stand up and check that out. That's, oh yeah, there are some great clips yeah. on YouTube. But but even if you want to get to some of the more obscure stuff, like is go out there and like go his IMDb and and you'll see like he was on episode twelve of Golden Girls or you know what I mean. And, and you're like, oh my god! And then you're like, I didn't realize that was him or he was you know he was always in like the big stuff, but he was like the guy next to the guy. You know what I mean? That's yeah. just Paul Paul and and. Uh, 
and and I think that's where he's best because he's kind of like uh, like like I've seen enough and done enough of his stand up. He's kind of that zinger type too, where he can like out of left field hit you with something, and and that's where he I think in movies and TV that's where his strength was. They'd hit him, yeah. you know, he'd come in with the the zinger and get you. So, but it, he's a great go go YouTube or do whatever you do to learn uh, for you younger folks to learn more about Paul Rodriguez here and come check it out. But it's a great show, and uh, I, I I guarantee there's probably nothing more exciting going on in Roswell. This Friday or Saturday night, I, I know there's some football people going to yell at me, but uh, I, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's come out for a great show. Have some fun. Make it a date night. Make it a friends night. Make it a so come single and see if you can pick up a date. I don't care, but uh, there you go. You know, come out and be a part of it here. Go uh, again. Get your tickets. Probably the quickest, easiest way is um, just go to holdmyticket.com or. Go to the Liberty's Facebook page, click on the the, the, event, the page, event and then you'll have you'll find a direct link that takes you right to the page. You can get your tickets, get what you need there, and then come on out. The doors. Um, if you want to get, you know, mingle and eat and drinks, so get there about six. But uh, 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 opening act will start uh, at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. So, so you got time to linger, or if you don't get off work till six thirty, no problem. You know, come on after work or whatever like that. Um. Uh. What is there? Any other information we want to share that I'm I'm skipping or missing here, or anything that we want to make sure we let the folks know about, other than our giveaway here? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, again, tomorrow we got Roger Krieger, okay. uh, uh, Staple Texas songwriter. All right, solid act. Going to be a a great show. Good um, Thursday night out. Yeah. Tomorrow. Good Thursday night out. Again, doors are at six tomorrow night, and uh, and I haven't seen menus or nothing. But a lot of times the chefs and everything plan menus that are kind of coincide with the artists and things so it kind of you know so like texas country odds are pretty good you're gonna see some brisket barbecue type foods and things like that <laughs> <laughs> michael does do a good job yeah, in the kitchen doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so uh definitely uh come come for the food get there early and come for the food and be a part of it all right let's do this right now hey uh, roy you listening is roy paying attention I don't know. I got a thumb, so I'm going to say yes. He's paying attention. All right, my first four callers right now: five seven five five seven eight eleven ninety eight. Uh, we'll get a pair of tickets. A pair of ticket. Pair of tickets. What are we giving away? Um, we're giving away two pairs of okay. tickets to Roger Krager tomorrow, and okay. two pairs to Paul over the weekend. Okay, so let me do this. First two callers right now will get a pair of tickets for uh, Roger tomorrow night. Five seven five five seven eight eleven ninety eight. Be my first two callers right now, and then. Uh, I might uh, wait a minute on the other one here just to get them a t- chance to percolate. It's uh, I when uh, I've learned when you do you got to do it a couple times, especially if you don't do it all the time because people aren't ready and they're like, oh, but be yeah. listening. So uh, I'm hearing the phone. See, it takes a minute for them to kind of percolate and register here, but we'll get those two and then uh, then be listening. I'm gonna give away some uh, Paul Rodriguez tickets here in a minute. Awesome, so, awesome, awesome, excellent. Um, what's um? I might call in. Can I get from here? <laughs> Is that cheating? Get out Is your that phone. like? <laughs> well, uh, I'm surprised they wouldn't let you in. I'm just. Saying. I know. I know. Right. Right. All right. He's like, keep that jet guy out. He can't. He don't have a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> um, but of course, um, please, and and then of course, like and follow the Liberty uh, Facebook page to stay up to date on. Yeah, write down their names, please, and a phone number, contact information. Yes. Wednesday guy. Yes. Um, but uh, yes. Um, Please go to the Liberty Inc. Go there. That way you can see, you can plan ahead. So, like, if you're thinking, man, uh, hey, what they got going on in uh, October here? I got some people coming in town. Or I got something. That way you can kind of get on there, see the, the schedule of events, get your tickets in advance for any of these upcoming shows we're talking about here. Yeah. But, um, Our Facebook page is kept up to date and maintained daily yeah. with changes. So. But if you uh, want to get in on uh, tomorrow night's concert or, or uh, Paul Rodriguez Friday or Saturday night, Get get on there right now and get your tickets. Yes. Um, especially, especially if you're trying to like, I just got a feeling that 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 they're especially with Paul's two nights. Yeah. Like once don't, people get don't word wait out for Paul, yeah. because there's the high sellout risk. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Don't dawdle. Don't delay. Yeah, we are that. definitely getting close, and it's and it's a little bit more economical to go ahead and get your kick, tickets ahead of time. Um, it's a Day of show is is usually another five bucks. Okay, a pop, so you can save so. a few bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah save a few bucks with a planning. by planning ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Early bird gets the worm on mm-hmm. this case, so definitely do that. All right, do we have our two winners? Uh, do we get two winners, uh, Roy? Thumbs up. Just one. Okay, so I got one more pair of tickets for Roger tomorrow night. Five seven five five seven eight eleven ninety eight. Be my next caller. We'll get you a pair of tickets that and uh, 
I know there's people holding out on Paul Rodriguez. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody wants to get a little two stepping in tomorrow night on a Thursday? It's yeah. going to be the way to roll. Yeah. Good date night. Um, good day good night. Date get you night. out of the doghouse. Well, and the, the whole Texas country scene is like it, it's its own animal. I mean, it's, it's its own it's, universe. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it really is. Like it's, it's crazy, man. It's like there's country, and then there's Texas Texas red, red dirt, dirt country, yeah. and it's it's a whole. I mean, obviously, uh, you guys are familiar. Artesia, they just had theirs every year. They have yeah, the their big festival, uh, red, the red dirt, dirt black gold festival, and they they bring some great artists. I'm sure. Folks, you're probably you probably dealt with a lot of those folks and worked uh, with a lot yeah, of Yeah, the same acts that we've we've had them all at the Liberty. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So uh, it's it's a very very um, popular genre. Number again? Five seven five five seven eight eleven ninety eight. Caller, caller, right now. Call, be our first one. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, tell you what, let's do this. Paul Rodriguez, you want the pair of two pairs right now? Call me five seven five five seven eight eleven ninety eight. Be our first two callers. You'll get a pair of tickets. For, uh, what, is it for Friday night or Saturday night, or do they get to choose? They get to choose. Okay, so your choice, Friday night or Saturday night. See, now the right. blowing up there. I hear it. But uh, <laughs> I can't. Uh, if you, I get them if you all don't claim them. That's the rule. And, I'm, and I will I will take two <laughs> seats. I will take both tickets and sit both seats. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> seat taken? Yes. <laughs> I like to spread out. <laughs> that's right. That's for my nachos, man. That's right. That's my, that's my not-to seat. I, I think you know exactly how I roll. That's right, man. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, come on out. It's going to be a fun time. It's a fun show. I, I'm excited just to get to end. Uh, it, it's, and, I, and I think we got other comedians right around the corner, don't we? We do. Yeah. So October 9th and 10th, yeah. we have uh, Saturday Night Live alumni Chris Catan. Yes. Uh, coming to Roswell. Yeah, he, uh, of course, if Night at the Roxbury, yes. that's that's probably one of the more famous ones. Um, of course, um, oh, what was his movie? I uh, What was the one? Uh, the one where he's uh, he, his parents work, he works for the mob. And he, uh, Corky Romano. Oh, that's yeah, the movie, that's right. Corky Romano. Yeah, that's one of his movies I love too. So, uh, yeah, he's, uh, but yeah, obviously, I think Night of the Roxbury by far. As soon as you see Chris Catan, if you're not doing the whole that head thing, then that's, but anyway, <laughs> I'm sure he loves that, by the way, when you do that for him. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the audience is bobbleheading out there. Right, just yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, but uh, very good. We get our two winners, Roy. Dead silence as we wait for a thumb. We got a thumb. All right, good awesome. deal. Congratulations to our two winners. Awesome. Excellent. Congrats. Uh, but again, if you want to get tickets for Chris Catan, go to the, the follow and like the Liberty uh, Inc. Facebook page. You'll see the event page. Man, it's hot. And uh, definitely uh, get get those. Again, that's going to be another one. Don't dawdle. As soon as you get your opportunities, get those tickets. I imagine the Chris Catan show will not uh, last long either. So. Yeah. Very good. Is there anything we missed? Anything we want to share? Anything else we wanted to remind folks about or tell them about? Well, at the Liberty, um, again, we've got we've got some hip hop shows coming up as well, and some rock and roll shows. So you know, keep keep an eye on the Facebook page, keep an eye on the website. Yeah, we got a lot coming up, um, and uh, we got some great songwriters. Uh, John Anderson coming. Uh, for the holiday season, mm-hmm. got a honky tonk Christmas just went on sale. Oh, nice. Just just put that up. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, uh, it's going to be a sweet holiday season for us at the Liberty too. And I think everybody, man, I'm just looking forward to seeing everybody getting out and celebrating together, and yeah. you know, seeing the community come together and and uh, enjoy each other's company again, well, man. And that's After the so big long, thing. I know. Yeah. I like 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 tomorrow night, Red Dirt. I, I mean, it's kind of like okay, even if you don't like Red Dirt. It's a concert with live music and people in the same room playing music. It's not something you're watching on a screen somewhere. It's actual people in a building communicating and chatting and and laughing and joking. Yep. That's called humanity. We are getting (laughs) back to it. Come on out and get back to it with us here. So come and and shake a leg or two tomorrow night. Come laugh your butt off Friday or Saturday night out at the Liberty again. The Liberty Inc. is the website to learn more about membership. Yes. Go to uh, holdmyticket.com to get tickets for Paul Rodriguez or really any of the shows 
That's right. uh, at the Liberty there. And of course, if you don't remember any of that stuff, go to the Liberty's Facebook page. You'll find all the links, everything you need for everything we talked about here and more. And come on out. Come out tomorrow night. Come on out for Paul Rodriguez Friday or Saturday or Friday and Saturday. And uh, come be a part of it. Come have fun. Bring the family. Right. Bring 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 your friends. Come on out. And let's, and if, let's have fun. And if it ends up being something that you really enjoy and dig, then uh, you know there's always the opportunity to uh, become a member so that you do get those uh uh, first access passes to make sure you can get the VIP seats. Yeah, there is you know the cocktail tables yes. and before anybody else does. You know, so if it ends up being somewhere that you like to hang, um, you know, it's a it's a really really uh, solid family over at the Liberty. Uh, everybody everybody uh, just enjoys the the company of the patrons and sure. the entertainment, and it's just a. It's just become, it's you know, one of my business. favorite spots around town, you know, working there or not. Sure. You know, it's just one of the places we end up. So It's the good time business. Right? Yeah, you know, it's there it to is. come. And, and, and in the world we live in now, I think we need a few more good times uh, in, in for your own mental health. That's yes, just, we definitely do. That's what, Maybe we should spin it that way. Put a big, uh, like, first aid cross on the front. Say, this is mental health 101. 101. The Liberty. The Liberty, yeah. Helping to support like the it. mental health of everybody right. in Southeast Maybe we New qualify Mexico. for some grants and everything else now. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, thank you very much thank for, you. for, for, for spending time us. with yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for what you and, do, uh, man. Come on out to the shows, man. Come and, get, you know, uh, let's... I know the world. You're you're ticked off and everything. Come out, have some fun. Get let your hair down and have a good time. You you you've earned it. Let's yes. let's do it. So, <laughs> thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right, it 